can I? <laughs> I think the thing that's tricky when you live in an urban environment is sometimes it can become difficult to connect with what's going on in nature. I'm Lulu Cox, I'm a chef and a food consultant. I spent most of my career working in restaurants and now working more with supply chains. I really loved nature and I love gardening and so it seemed like a really good segue when I realised that these two worlds could collide. Parsley, such a delicious ingredient. I love building those relationships, going to the farms, seeing what's there, and then thinking what to cook. This is a bed of carrots. When you look at farms like Zootopia, where we are here now, that they really connect you with seasonality. You see what's growing in the fields, you notice the seasons, you know what's available. In the supermarkets, we're really used to seeing vegetables looking identical. And actually, that's really not true of nature. Things come in all different shapes and sizes, and it creates a huge amount of waste because farmers aren't allowed to use carrots that are one centimetre short. Probably a mass scale farmer would say it's too small or not the right shape. We forget to value that ingredient and to think about the energy that's gone into growing it. That's why places like Zootopia are so inspiring because you don't have to come far away from the city to realise that this is real, this is what it's all about. This is nature and actually this is where our ingredients come from. From those ingredients being so healthy, the impact that has upon our health and also the environment. All of these heritage carrots just pick these nice colourful varieties, different shapes and sizes, which is lovely. Whilst I just wait for the fire to kind of die down, I'm just going to toast the fennel seeds and you just want them to turn like a kind of a little bit brown in colour. Pop these in here and just grind them up. And that releases a really amazing aroma. Let's go like this. That's going to take ages. I'm making a lemony, chilli, olive oil kind of dressing, and I'm going to do it straight into a jam jar, which is really easy. A bit of Dijon mustard, three teaspoons of red wine vinegar, chilli flakes. I'm going to do the juice of one lemon, some dried oregano, big pinch of salt. Give that a good mix. Finally, I'm going to do the olive oil. Looks a bit like a potion. <laughs> really handy just doing a screw lid here, because then you can just give it now that these carrots have got a really nice char, I'm going to pop them into this pan. I'm going to put a little bit of water, put the lid on and just let them sort of steam away so the centre is really nice and soft. So yeah, that will probably take another 10 minutes. So that's probably enough for one dish, just a little handful. So we've got the carrots that are cooked and warm, we've got the herbs, we've got the dressing and then we've got some labne, which is just Greek yoghurt. The dark plate will make the yogurt look amazing. Really nice to have your carrots dress whilst they're still warm. And then I'm going to add my fennel seeds to here as well, my crushed fennel. And that goes in. And you can see they've got that lovely thick dressing, which is really nicely coated them. Kind of be quite generous with this. Just drop it, let it go in parsley, some mint, and that's it. It's like a beautiful example of just showing the importance of the connection between food and farming, it becoming entwined and just how you can just eat really delicious food locally and that's also so good for you.